Welcome to Pyography Made Easy. I'm Brenda. In this tutorial episode, I am going to show you how to create the basic basket weave texture. Well, let's get started. Create the grid. Use a graphite pencil and a straight edge to draw horizontal lines on the area you want the basket weave. Space the lines as you want. Then draw some vertical lines in the same area to create a grid. How precise your grid is is completely up to you. Afterwards, use a pencil and draw an X in every other square on the board. Once you are done, you will have the basics of a chessboard. Use a writer pen tip and burn over the grid lines. Do not burn over the X's. I do want to point out that my horizontal lines are straighter than my vertical lines. The reason is that I locked my hand and moved my arm instead of my fingers with the horizontal lines. Fill the grid. Use a shader pen tip and burn pull away strokes along the upper edge of each square that does not have an X in it. Start the stroke on the upper edge and pull it down towards the bottom of the square. Stop the stroke near the halfway mark. Burn another layer of pull away strokes over the existing ones to create a smoother looking burn result. Plus, this will extend and darken the color. Rotate the board and burn pull away strokes along the upper edge of each unmarked square. This is exactly what we did before. Once done, each square will have a domed or curved appearance to it. Rotate the board 90 degrees and erase the pencil marks. Now burn pull away strokes along the upper edge of the unburned squares. If you are burning on plywood like I am, you will most likely notice a big difference in how the wood burns depending on whether or not you are burning with the grain line. It is always easier to burn with the wood grain, plus you tend to get better burn results, especially on plywood. Rotate the board one last time and burn pull away strokes along the upper edge of the partially burned squares. This will complete the basket weave texture. You can play around with this texture and alter how the weave looks. For example, increase the darkness along the edges of each square and the square will appear more curved or bowed. Well, that is it for this episode. I hope I provided some helpful information. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you next week.